For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys. Now they want you to replace the distributed loading with an equivalent resultant force and find its location on the beam. Now, this distributed load has a force of F, equivalent force of F being applied somewhere around here. I'm just guessing. Now, the force, the magnitude of this force is given by the area under the curve. The area under the curve is given by the integral from 0 to 15. This is 0, and here's 15 of the function, which is x squared plus 3x plus 100 dx. And this is equal to x cubed over 3 plus 3x squared over 2 plus 100x from 0 to 15. And when you plug in 15 and 0, you get that this is equal to 200 and, um, sorry, 2,962.5 pounds. Now, the distance that is being applied from A is called, let's call it x bar. x bar is given by the integral from 0 to 15 of x times the function x squared plus 3x plus 100 dx all over the same integral that we used to find the magnitude which is 0 to 15 x squared plus 3x plus 100 dx the bottom of this fraction we already found now I'm gonna distribute this x into this parentheses and we get the integral from 0 to 15 of x cubed plus 3x squared plus 100x dx and the bottom of this fraction which is this bottom right here we already found before to be 2962.5 right here we already found it no need to find it again so the top becomes x to the 4 over 4 plus x cubed plus 50x squared from 0 to 15 and the bottom stays at 2962.5 when you plug in 15 and 0 at the top integral you get this is 27281.25 over 2962.5 and that is equal to 9.21 feet so the force is being applied at 9.21 feet and it has a magnitude of 2962.5 pounds final answer final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you